A fork? Good morning. Eggs. Eggs. Oh, and kiss. Thank you. Thank you. This little boy is talking Mama. so much. <laughs> Mama. Every single time I leave his sight, Mama. he's like, Mama. 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 Or if I go downstairs, he just keeps like yelling, Mama. A fork? Fork. Mama. Good job, Hudson. But he is talking so much. <gasps> Good job. Oh, kiss me. He's such a little lover. Oh, caca. Oh, caca. Ew. All done? You gotta put it in the garbage. Oh. Good morning guys, welcome to today's to vlog. We are all in Hudson and Lincoln's oh, room. No, I don't know where the mouth is. Please, no. They're playing with Mr. Oh, Potato Head. Yeah. It's been so long since I've made a video, so I feel like there's so much to catch you up on. There's a couple reasons why I haven't been consistent here, and that's because when Kevin started work, it was a big adjustment trying to be the only one to take care of the kids, the house, and do work at the same time like i just could not find a good schedule luckily now i feel like i'm starting to get caught up and things are flowing better and one of the biggest reasons that it's now possible for me to kind of tackle everything is i'm not bringing darren to school anymore darren's actually taking the bus that was never originally my plan i always plan on driving darren to and from school especially because he's going to school over the summer as well and I had mentioned in a previous video that we only have one car. And literally, Kevin's first week of work, I was driving back home from getting Darren from school, and my car started to break by itself. And basically, the transmission started to go. And so, for the last like two weeks, we haven't had a car, but luckily, we've been able to borrow cars like Kevin's brother was in Florida for 10 days. So Kevin was able to use his car to get to work. Thank God. Like, that is just a blessing. Wow. And now that his brother's back home, his mom is letting him use her car. And her car is three rows. So, like, now we can all go to church because we haven't gone to church in, like, a week and a half. I have. Like, my friends have picked me up in Landon and, like, Lincoln. But we haven't been able to all go. With all of that being said, though, we just got a text message yesterday saying our van was fixable. And we should be getting it in a couple days. Thank God, because I've mentioned before, I don't think they're in there. I mentioned in a previous vlog that I am trying to run this van into the ground like, and make it last as long as we can because we want to be able to buy a nice car that's going to last us for years. Like We don't want to like put a big chunk of money into a car that's only going to last us, you know half that time so anyway so yeah that's just catching you guys up to speed on the craziness that is my life but the real reason i'm in here is because i want to show you guys um what we're going to be doing to lincoln and hudson's room i am so excited after i told you guys that we were going to just keep lincoln in a playpen i don't know where the nose is honey i don't know go look out in the living room go look in the living room in the toy box I mentioned to you guys that we were just gonna like put a twin bed in here and you know do Montessori style I had thought about it for a while and I just think it's not the safest decision because he does share a room with Hudson and they're just so close in age and you know I don't want them sleeping in the same bed you know in case anything happens like he suffocates Lincoln you know stuff like that so I ended up getting a crib it's downstairs I ordered a mattress and it keeps getting delayed I'm really, really, really hoping that it comes today. It was supposed to come 
last Friday, then Saturday. Saturday said it was in the warehouse where I live. Then at the end of the day, it said it was all the way in Connecticut again. So I have no idea what's going on. I still haven't gotten a notification that it's out for delivery or that it's even in the area. So I don't know. I've been waiting so long to set this crib up because he just needs a crib. He loves the pack and play, but it's just like, I don't want to keep him in a pack and play. I really just wanted to get the twin mattress like, you know, so we have a crib waiting on the mattress and we are making the room dinosaur themed. I'm so excited. So this is the paint swatch that we found and no, we are not painting the entire room this color. I'm going to show you guys the whole room really quick. So as you can see, these walls have been vandalized and graffitied by my children. These walls are almost like a matte finish. It honestly doesn't even feel like there's paint on here. So anytime I try to wipe this clean, like it it just isn't budging. So we ended up leaving it like yesterday. I really tried to scrub this off and it's just not coming off. So that is the state of the walls. We have a lot of mudding to do. We have a lot of holes to patch up. So we're gonna paint the whole bottom half of the wall blue and then the top half white. So this is the shade of blue. It's from Sherwin-Williams. And like I said, we're gonna paint the whole bottom half of the room blue. I'm thinking maybe we'll do like an accent wall and just like paint this wall blue. I'm not really sure, but everything else is getting painted white. Like all the trim is getting repainted. Those doors are probably gonna get painted white as well. And then another thing we're doing is we're getting these dinosaur decals. I think it's from Loomwell and I'm going to put them, I don't know if I'm gonna put them all over the wall or just put them on this wall and kind of make this wall like an accent wall with all of the dinosaur decals. Another thing that we're doing is we're getting Lincoln one of those Montessori house beds and it's gonna be white. So he's gonna have a Montessori house bed and then Lincoln's white crib is going to go here as well. I don't know if we're gonna be keeping this. I like this just because that's where this sits and it's like the only convenient place that actually projects the stars. Oh my goodness. I also don't know if we're gonna be keeping this. I want to just to like put their toys in, but also I just think it's like another catch-all space. It looks bad in here, it makes it look cluttered. So I'm not really sure. It's also not the right color either. But I basically have one day to figure out what I wanna throw away and what I wanna keep because we have a dumpster coming tomorrow because we are trashing our entire couch as well. My dad has like two brand new couches in storage that have just been there forever and me and my sister are both gonna take one praise god because that couch out there used to be a leather couch i don't know what happened to it well it used to be my parents so they've had it for a while and they bought it off of somebody but all the leather like came off of it and now it's just like this ugly like reddish brown color and i can't. I just don't like it. If you have been here since I've had Lincoln, you know that that couch used to be huge. It covered our entire living room. And just like month by month, we were taking like one piece of the couch apart every single time. So we have like a couch in the boys room. We have the couch in the living room. We have some of the couch in the garage and we're just cleaning house right now. We went from a really big house to a townhouse and we still have a bunch of stuff in the garage and just things like this that really need to probably get thrown away like honestly that thing is probably going to get tossed so i'm really excited that this dumpster is coming because it's long overdue but yeah so yesterday kevin went out he got all the paint stuff this weekend we're going to be painting and transforming this room i'm not sure when the montessori bed is coming i would love to do a whole video transforming this room hi because I have such a good vision of what it's going to look like. But it's going to take a little bit to get everything done. It's not all going to happen at once. I still have to order the Montessori bed and the dinosaur decals and all that stuff. But I'm really excited. It's going to look so cute in here. And then we're also doing Landon in Darren's room too. I think I'm going to put you in this today. I think I'm going to start taking Lincoln's binky from him after bedtime. Because I don't want it to become a habit. I've never, ever, ever had a binky problem with any of my kids and I don't know like a month ago I just started like leaving it clipped onto his onesie because <laughs> that's where I keep it clipped and then I realized like he has it in his mouth all the time and I'm like 
You know what, this is gonna create a bad habit that I don't have time to break. Yay! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Say hi. Yeah. Oh, they can't see you waving. Uh-huh. Do you blow a kiss? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can I see this? Thank you. I got you pancake. Uh, oh, I know. Come here. Eat. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got you pancake. We're having pancakes for lunch today because. <laughs> Because we don't have any food, so I just placed a delivery, and it should be here by three, thankfully. Oh no, he found the ice cream cones. I would love to know if you guys still have plastic bags where you live. I see some people still have them, and I'm kind of jealous because these bags just fall apart. Some Motor City pizza, a mini drumsticks. This is something new. These are Anytime Ready in Minutes cinnamon rolls by Rhodes. It's already included in a baking pan. I got two olipops, some whipped chai cream cheese, family pack of organic chicken. What are these? Mini baby medley potatoes. I got these True Fruit chocolate covered frozen blueberries. Some frozen bananas, some hash browns, some crinkle cup fries, crispy crowns. These are like Dunkin' Donuts versions of hash browns. I also got some Siggy's yogurt and vanilla. Some cereal, some pasta. I also got this red hot sweet chili. This is gonna be for the meatloaf that I make tonight. Some strawberry preserves, some French onion soup, yellow onion, organic grapes, some egg noodles, Spring mix, cheddar cheese, dried cranberries, creamer, this is brown sugar flavor, some celery, Worcestershire sauce, or however you say it, ground beef, more coffee pods, green onions, green beans, Brussels sprouts, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, more pasta, more cereal. I got some of these mini pancakes. I have a chuck roast and Scooby. I also got a small thing of Cheez-Its. Ketchup, olive oil, 
some baked beans, yeah. breakfast essentials. I also have a rosemary rotisserie chicken in here. And then over there I have a gallon of milk and a bag of apples. So all of this should last us for about two weeks. right now and I'm gonna start the meatloaf. I already cooked the onions until they were translucent, 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 and now they're just cooling. And right now I'm just putting together eggs, the breadcrumbs, and the milk. So the other day when I came home from church, I decided I was going to start my own sourdough starter. And sadly, I just found out I'm going to have to restart it even though it's only been like a day. But I'm using all-purpose flour and I heard whole wheat flour is going to be a lot better because mine hasn't been bubbling or even rising in the tiniest bit. Which I heard it could take a few days, but I also heard that all-purpose flour like isn't really the best. But I'm going to get dinner started. I'm going to watch The Chosen while I cook. I ended up putting Lincoln in his playpen with a couple of books because he was just crying and pulling on my skirt. And he's been like that all day, so I think he might be a little bit tired. And then Landon and Hudson are playing together. It's so, so cute. Darren's right here. I'm letting him use my phone, and he's just watching his own Netflix movie. So... Everyone's preoccupied, which is great because I tend to get overwhelmed when I cook. I just like can't process like instructions and the noise around me. This is like the perfect environment to continue doing this. So I'm gonna quick whip everything together. 